Showtime, Section 420, Talking Yankees. And the smell of October baseball is in the air. The verdict is in. The Yankees are going to be a wild card team, but they'll have the top wild card spot, so they'll be the home team for that one game playoff at Yankee Stadium. There's just no way they're going to catch the Red Sox in the AL East. Four games back, we're only 10 to play. The Yankees are going to have to settle down for the wild card. And the Yanks did a huge favor this week by sweeping the Minnesota Twins, burying them down in the standings. Now, they're the team they'll most likely play. Texas and the Los Angeles Angels are starting to climb up a little bit, but most likely it's going to be the Twins. But by sweeping them, you kind of take the pressure off, and now the Yanks can kind of coast into these last 10 games, set up the roster, set up their pitching staff, give their players a rest. So with that one game, the magic question becomes, who starts it? Everyone's going to say, well, Severino's been the ace the whole season, but is that really a good idea? It's his first time doing this. Is he going to be too amped up? Is he going to be nervous? What about someone like Sonny Gray, who's kind of been there, done that before, more low-key? These are the questions that Girardi's going to address, but frankly, it's a lot of much ado about nothing, because really, it's all hands on deck. Don't be shocked if it's like one pitcher per inning. And it's a major relief to see Chapman back in his old form. For a while, they lost a the job. Very sloppy. Girardi put him out, made him like the seventh to eighth inning guy. But then when he put Ben Tantas in there, he didn't fare much better. But now, since Chapman returned to the ninth inning, he has looked like his old self again, and that's great, because without a good Chapman, there's no way the Yankees are going to get far in the playoffs. And Chad Green continues to merge out of the Yankee bullpen. Very reminiscent of Mariano Rivera back in 96. This comes in there for two innings and just blows everyone away. Now, if they do go further in this playoff series, don't be surprised if Girardi brings them out in the late game situation, especially if Ben Tonsis keeps struggling like this. And Aaron Judge has picked the right time to get out of that major second half slump. Hitting 368 with three home runs in his last seven games and overall 46 for the season. He's picking just the right time to start getting hot again. And Gary Sanchez continues to be a major stick in the lineup. Up to 32 home runs and there's still a week left in the season. Imagine if he had a whole season to work with. And congratulations to D.D. Gregorius. First Yankee to hit 25 home runs as a shortstop. New Yankee record. Previously was Jeter with 24 back in 99, but now that's D.D.'s record. Now look, I thought there was no chance Greg Bird was coming back this season. But you know what? I was happy to be wrong. Not only is he coming back, he's hit a couple home runs in September. His foot seems fully healthy. He's playing the field. I think it's great, and now Girardi has yet another option to either start or just bring off the bench maybe in a late game inning situation. But even with Bird back, I still think Girardi is going to favor Chase Headley at first base. He's been very smooth in his transition from third to first, and well, he's been keeping up his hitting pretty much the whole second half, and he's a switch hitter. And you have to hand it to Jacoby Ellsbury. He's probably having his best Yankee season. Now, stat-wise, you might go, what? He's only hitting 270, only a couple of home runs. but. He was pretty much relegated to a bench play with the emergence of Aaron Hicks and the great play, of course, of Gardner, and then you have Judge and Wright. But the whole season, Ellsbury kind of stayed in the shadows, wasn't a clubhouse distraction, kept to himself, kept quiet, and with Hicks going down, he took his opportunity and ran with it. And he's always in the middle of a lot of big Yankee rallies, gets a lot of big hits. And again, I've been bashing Ellsbury a lot, but you know what? This season, he's finally showed me something. So you look back when this team started in April and you figured, all right, maybe there'll be a 500 team, have some fun, a little home run, see the young guys develop, but they actually had a great first half and were in first place for a while. So you know what, the Yankees, the whole expectation changed. They retooled, added David Robinson, added Tom Frazier at third, and of course getting Sonny Gray, a great starting pitch in the rotation. Now you figure, you know what, let's get this ALE's crown, but problem is Boston just kept winning and things that you think were gonna be great such as the bullpen had his problems. Bentonta struggled, Chapman struggled. So then they lost games that way, and then to the second half, you know, scoring runs was like last season. It was like pulling teeth. So they almost teed it off, but then luckily now they reef cap, and they got this one game playoff. Now you figure it's underwhelming. They should be in the Ailey's crown, where it's maybe a best of five. You don't have to worry about that one game where, you know what, anything could happen. But still, you look back where we are in March and April, you would have taken this one game definitely. So one game, one game left to determine everything. 50-50 chance. Play ball.